good afternoon, good evening, and good night, and welcome to Throwbacks, where we talk all things cool and retro, and we are back once again with the Monday Night Wars collection from Mattel, WWE, WCW, the Monday Night Wars, Nitro, Raw, you know how it is. Um, this is the newest set hitting Walmart. Uh, I picked this up, it's been a little bit uh, of time at this point. Uh, but had such a backlog that we're just now getting to it, and I am excited to get to it, as uh, this is my favorite thing going on right now, are these Monday Night Wars guys. So definitely, definitely excited. Uh, check out our um, toy hunt video from this past weekend. You'll see me get off the cruise ship and find these bad boys um, the day I stepped off the boat, and it was a very, very good welcome home party to have these guys. So uh, we're going to unbox these guys, build the build a figure and then we're going to rank every single one of these so stick tight and let's get to it All right, let's jump right in here. Let's jump right in with what I think is kind of the two question marks from this uh, release here. And that will start off with good old Lita. Now, she's kind of a question mark because was she really Attitude Era? When I think of Attitude Era, I definitely do not think of Lita. Uh, if anything, I think China, Sable, Jacqueline... Um, Sonny, uh, Deborah McMichaels, uh, Woman, um, Sister Sherry, people like that. More, obviously, less in-ring people, more kind of, um, you know, what do they call managers? So th things like that. So I definitely don't see Lita as one. But that being said, she is in the wave, so let's go ahead and talk about her. I do think we have a really good face here, but um, I think you can already kind of see just in me moving the figure around, like how much extra wiggle we have here like ooh. it just feels like it's sitting in there this has been a problem uh, we've been talking about a lot with Mattel is I think they switched factories I mean look at this look. Doo -doo. Doo -doo 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 -doo. just not good so that right there is a massive I mean we're starting we're, we're starting off at like uh, the highest possible thing is you can get like a B at this point, so not a good starting off there. Um, we'll say pretty cool tattoo. I do like the colors and the detail. They they freaking nailed that. That looks great. And I do think her face looks very good. Um, no more ink on this side. Um, she does have the um, G-string going on here, so that's always nice to see. Uh, very on brand with Lita, obviously. Pants looking good. Um, some extra little string thingies there, which I would have liked to see molded on. Uh, I think that's kind of a disappointment that you couldn't have molded these on here. Uh, you're not doing a whole lot of crazy stuff paint app wise with this, so I, I don't know why you couldn't have done the extra money there. And then you got the flames on the boots, which, mm, I mean, I get it's probably, I'm sure it's accurate. It just looks a little weird. I think it's kind of, it's probably those kind of Doc Martens that they had there, so it just looks. And it just kind of clashes with the outfit, uh, but again, that's probably just um, how it is. And then I do have a little goober here, plastic-wise, um, which I think that can probably just peel right off. So peels right off, no issue there. But again, that's kind of kind of the theme with Mattel recently has been just kind of quality control. Like that shouldn't be hanging out on the back of a figure. Like it just shouldn't be. Overall, I'm gonna give this. Eh, this is a solid. C minus. Um, it is what it is. Um, also, I should talk about the accessory because that's 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 part of the C minus here, and that is when WWE slash Mattel does these cheap, cheap garbage. A word. You know what? Garbage ass plastic. Sorry, kids, if you hear this, you've been watching TV at all. Garbage ass titles. Look at these things. These are just garbage. Little pla like this is an elite figure. I'm sorry. Like this should not be. This should not be happening. This is not a new mold. This is nothing new. Give us the actual thing. This WWE blue looks like crap. Garbage. Absolute garbage. Do better, Mattel. Ugh. Frustrating. All right. And then we got our second one. Which this one actually is a little bit more promising, I think. Um, Scott Hall. Again. I'm sorry. Correction. Hold the phone. Reza Ramo. Hey, Chico. So... 
Razor Ramon, not Scott Hall. Obviously, Monday Night Warriors, we think of Scott Hall. We don't really think of Razor Ramon, so an interesting choice here. He's got the Fonz hands going on, but a very nice face sculpt. Looks really good. The chains, which we've seen before. Um, in the pictures, a lot of the uh, his vest doesn't look great, but I was able to pick out a nice-looking one that does have the rubber band on it. Um, obviously, I think it's supposed to kind of be open a little bit more, show a little bit more chest. Maybe we can just pull that open just a little bit. Um, but it also does kind of fluff out when you do that, so uh, pretty good there. The back looks really good, the bad guy. Well, there's a real look on that. It looks really nice with the bad guy, and then the razor mode in the middle there. His classic uh, razor uh, elbow pad on one side, black on the other, which is almost looks like a knee pad, but I'm sure I'm wrong on that. Razor trunks. Razor knee pads and Hulkster yellow boots. Um, so yeah, this one was kind of surprising. Uh, I'm pretty happy with this one, honestly. This is uh, a pretty nice addition to the collection. Definitely, if you're trying to make a Monday Night War shelf, I uh, don't know that this really fits that. But if you just have a WWE shelf, I think this definitely fits very nicely into the collection. So a very nice Razor Rumble. All right, next up. You know, I know typically I think everybody's going to save Warrior and Dusty for last. So let's break the mold. Let's go ahead and get into the ultimate Warrior. Ah, oh, my Warriors. I had a three-month run in WCW, and now I have two figures. Okay, that was my impression. There we go. Uh, Ultimate Warrior, WCW run, an interesting run to say the least. Um, this came from, this was supposed to be a part of the uh, Nitro set that we didn't get. Thank you, Mattel, for screwing that up as well. Um, one of the most wanted things I ever had, and it didn't happen because they had poor figure choices. I think this was like the last unlockable goal. Um, and obviously this is the most popular figure in this wave. Go figure. Um, I was able to get a no crazy neck warrior here, so I was lucky there. I know a lot of people have getting the giraffe neck on this warrior. Uh, I was able to, lucky enough, find like three warriors um, and pick the best one, so very happy with that. And I think this face sculpt is killer on warrior. I think this looks great. The color pops like crazy. The hair looks awesome. Just really neat overall. We'll get into his... Uh, Duster here in just a minute. Obviously looking jacked and tan as a warrior should. A nice belt buckle, nice and shiny going on there. Uh, jeans, not looking too genie, no extra wash or anything like that. Um, but for some reason it kind of works with this one. Uh, I think that it looks just fine actually. I think this is okay. For some reason the colors end up matching up and it looks pretty good. And then you have these really cool warrior belts. So you've got, uh, uh, what was I say? Oh, for some reason I was seeing that was an R. Ultimate, the Warrior. And Warrior Ultimate. So that's interesting. That That's kind of Ultimate Warrior. Ultimate Warrior. No, I am seeing all sorts of weird things today. Anyhow, so that looks good. Sorry, guys. Um, and then on to the duster, man. This duster's cool, man. Look at this guy. Very neat. Let's pull this out, kind of straighten him out a little bit. There we go. Very cool ultimate warrior. Look at that. I know the other his other duster from this actual match at Halloween Havoc with Hogan. Uh, I'm pretty sure it has WCW written on it and things like that, so that looks pretty cool. But this thing's rad. Almost has a uh, saber tooth look to it. Um, you know, the uh, Marvel character, X Men character. Almost has a saber tooth look to him. Very neat there. Oh, it's starting to rain outside. But very cool. I mean,. I, I see why this is a, a pretty popular one, but I also am lucky and didn't get the uh, giraffe neck here. So, and his neck is pretty. Eh, 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 no, you know what? It is pretty. It is a little wiggly, but for some reason it, it feels a little better. So, not too shabby there with the ultimate warrior throwing hands. We're having a good time. Then we have an underrated figure, I think, just by looking at this. And this is good old six pack. We got a new face scan there on uh, Sean Waltman. Six pack looks really, really good. And I love, love, love that we got this attire. This was obviously very early. Um, 
attire in WCW. One thing, and it's such a small thing, but to me it makes such a big difference, are these knee pads. They went the extra mile to do the knee pads because I think you have like, almost like a hard shell knee pad here. And I think that makes the world of difference with this figure. It just looks really good um, and very, very happy um, about it. So it looks really nice. Um, if you see my Vader review, which I think only like 20 of you did, uh, I was a little late to the show. Kind of like I'm a little late to the show on this one too. Um, on his knees, they just painted circles on it when his knees also had a different kind of knee pad and they kind of cheaped out on an ultimate. So I'm glad to see that they did not cheap out with six pack here. Uh, I guess maybe because they didn't have to go crazy on colors, they were able to save. I don't know, but I think this looks great. Um, definitely an awesome face that you could pull and put on your other uh, six pox or your other uh, X pox if you want to. Uh, probably not a one, two, three kit. I don't. I wouldn't think so. Maybe shave some eyebrows off, then you'll be good there. But this is actually a very nice figure. But um, pretty cool there. I'm gonna get these guys all posed out. I'm gonna build a Dusty. We're gonna rank these guys, and we'll finish up with our final thoughts on the Monday Night Wars wave. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got the American Dream, Dr. Rose, and his full-on NWO attire. Here we got the rest of the group. We got the build figure. We got the other four guys. We got the full wave. I think this is wave four of the Monday Night Wars. Um, I will say this is a great lineup, but I think we have some serious, serious quality control issues going on in Mattel right now. Um, and it's really, really hurting these figures. Um, another example that we will talk about here in just a minute is Dusty. But let's go ahead and get to our rankings. Let's plow that out. This has been a pretty long video already. So thank you guys for hanging out if you've made it this far. Uh, do us a favor. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to the channel as we post new content every single day. But now let's rank these bad boys. Let's not waste any time. We're going to start right off the bat with Lita. Um, just a poor figure. Uh, very loosey-goosey. Um, very awkward, stiff joints over here, um, head's a little too wiggly, feels awkward on the peg, just, eh, just not a great figure for me, not one that I really wanted, not one that I really liked, but needed it, so, uh, we're gonna go with Lita as the number five pick here, and let's not forget about that belt. Alright, what's next? Um, man, I've gotta be true to myself, and that's gonna be Dusty. I think Dusty um, has too many bad things going on with him. Again, we're going to talk about quality control. He's putting these hands on, and look at this. Look at that. That's just that's just unacceptable. Like, what are we doing? What are we doing, Mattel? I know it's a build a figure, but come on. Like, this is just insane. Besides that, let's get a shirt. Come on. I know. I know. I get it. You have to make a new shirt mold. Guess what? You got some bigger boys on the NW that you can use that shirt for down the road. You got Scott Flash Norton that you should be making. You got Big Bubba Rogers that we already made on the channel that you could use a shirt for. That's at least three guys right there. A Giant, they could probably use a bigger shirt for whenever that day comes. Okay, let's be honest, the Giant's probably not coming. Um, Brian Adams, maybe? Oh, there you go. A bigger shirt. Um, I think this is a cheap, cheap way of doing it. This is also a very hollow plastic in here. You can almost hear the echo. <laughs> going on there. The hat is okay. The glasses are pretty cool. I would have liked a cowboy hat instead of the NW hat, I will say. But it's a nice accessory that you can add off to other guys. Um, positives, these pants are really nice. I do like the legs on these with the extra wash. Um, kind of a bummer that we didn't get pinless knees, but um, not the end of the world. And the boots. Um, I'm going to assume Dusty's wearing cowboy boots and not lace-up shoes, so what are we doing there? Uh, I'm not real sure on that. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he's wearing some form of wrestling boot. I don't know. But So he's going to come in at number four. So let's get to number three. Oh, it's actually... I think we're going to go back to build quality again. And I'm going to go with Ultimate Warrior as my number three. Uh, getting him posed out. Um, kind of noticed his legs are very... I mean, I'm... That's, I'm putting a pretty good amount of force here to get these to move, and they're not wanting to move. They will move, um, but then, I mean, I'm trying. I'm, <laughs> I'm really, really trying, and we are just not moving. Um, so build quality, again, really affects this figure. Um, it'll look great on the shelf, but, you know, if you're a kid and you're playing with these, game over. Like, we're talking, like, 
just give give the kid an LJN. Like, what are we doing? What are we doing? Um, so, Ultimate Warrior overall for the collector market, which I think this is pretty much where this is going, um, comes in at number three. And number two, we are going to jump right into Heyo Reza Ramon. A overall very, very nice, stunning figure. And I think it's just a, a, a really just beautiful looking figure. This is a very nice figure. Um, just doesn't quite fit the Monday Night Wars theme, so it kind of gets a deduction there. Otherwise, I think it would be um, right there with six. But coming in at number two, Reza Ramon. And that leaves number one, good old six pack. Man, just a, a simplistic but very well executed figure here. Um, he is the chase. I did find the chase as well, which has the thug stuff. So that's kind of nice. You're getting a two in one also there. Or if not two in one, but you do have the awesome chase there. And I think the face on this is just outstanding. Um, out of this world, you get the two sweet hands. You got the attention to detail with the knee pads. The kick, uh, the kick boots look really good. So just a winner of a winner. I think this could easily, in a lot of other sets, be like three or four. But unfortunately, with what's been going on with Mattel, quality issues and things like that, uh, he's going to be number one in this one. So not too shabby at all. But we've already taken care of the hey guys, subscribe to us and all that fun stuff. So uh, we're going to go ahead and instead just say uh, you got, we're going to see you guys later. We're going to throw one back. So for myself. And Uncle BJ, we are going to throw one back, and we'll see you all next time.